welcome to Grayson's nine month update. He is officially nine months old and growing more and more each day. This month, Grayson is 19 pounds and 28 inches long. We went to the doctor and he is actually in the 48th percentile for his head and his weight. And he's a short little guy. He's only in the 32nd percentile for height. So he's really short, which is funny because he's like growing out of his nine month clothes. So I did not think he'd be that low. Do you see yourself? Do you see the baby? He loves looking at babies. Yeah, you do, huh? This month, Grayson got three new teeth. They're all on the top, so he got his top two middle teeth, and then one on the on his left side is coming in as well. And they all came in at the same time, which explained why he was so miserable last month and teething and drooling, and his cheeks were red, and I think he's still teething. He's getting more teeth as well, so it just never ends. Grayson stands all the time now. He pulls up on everything. Um, anything he can, he will pull up on, even if it's not stable, which is why I have to like follow him around like a hawk. He even uh, is able to stand up on his own for maybe two or three seconds at a time and he gets very proud of himself when that happens and it's crazy to see like he's standing on his own now he's gonna start walking soon and I'm just not ready for that I don't think I will ever be ready for that Grayson's newest trick that he learned this past month is how to shake his head no let me see if I can get him to do it Grayson no 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 yeah so if you say no 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 he'll start shaking his head I'm not quite sure where he got that from I don't feel like I shake my head that much but maybe I do and I just didn't realize it but yeah that is his new trick anybody who's and everybody's been saying it because they all want to see him do it no 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 yeah no no, no. a couple days ago I was doing the no 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 trick with him and he was doing it so hard that he actually lost his balance. He was shaking his head so hard. You see that baby? No, no, no. So he's starting to learn like no and what that means, but I think half the time he just ignores it anyway. Sometimes he'll go for something and I'll be like, Grayson, no, no. And he actually will, after I have to say it a couple times, but eventually he will leave it be. Grayson celebrated his first Christmas this past month and it was so much fun. Here's some pictures. He was super cute. I had him in multiple outfits because he's got so many cute outfits. And Santa came and brought him lots of presents and he got spoiled. Lots of people got him presents for Christmas. And he actually got into the wrapping paper a little bit and would like start to uh, like tear at it and unwrap it a little bit um so it was so fun to see him and I know next year and every year will be better than the next and then the day after Christmas my family went and we took a family vacation to Cancun Mexico so here's some pictures and videos <laughs> Grayson loved it. We brought a little floaty. He just loved to sit in that thing and swim in the pool. They had like five different pools and he loved it and it was uh, all inclusive so we could eat it and drink as much as we wanted. So Grayson was having a heyday with french fries. We found out he loves french fries and he loved all the fruit there and you know anything he could get his hands on he loved. He loved it. We had a great time. It's definitely harder to go on vacation with a kid. I did realize that. Um, I don't know how people like just go on family vacations with multiple kids. Like my parents had six kids. I have no idea how they did family vacations because just having one was stressful enough. The hardest part really was the napping because he takes two naps a day and then he goes to bed at like 7.30 at night. 
So it was really hard for us to like want to stay out, but then not leave him alone in the hotel room by himself. So that was really difficult. I think the next vacation we go on, well, we have a couple coming up where he will come with us, but like the next vacation like that, we're gonna, I don't think we'll take him. I mean, it was a good first experience. Sorry, he's playing with his train right next to me. I don't think I would do that again. <laughs> It was a lot of work and I didn't really find myself like enjoying the vacation like I should have. Grayson talks a lot more now. He says eh all the time and the other word that he will say, sorry for train, the only other word that he will say other than eh is mama. He did say dada for like a week, I feel like it was a couple months ago and then like he hasn't said dada since. So he only says mama or eh. And he says eh a lot. Here's some videos of him talking. talks a lot and he's so cute because he will respond to you if you ask him a question he'll just be like eh and he's done this like reflection thing now where he'll be like eh. <laughs> he was just doing it earlier while I was talking to him and he also does this like really deep growl and he'll be like it's like beat we call it like his demon voice he's got a personality that's for sure Grayson loves baths he loves to be in the water he loves to splash he loves when I like get a cup full of water and then trickle it down. He loves to put his hand in the stream. He loves when he has to wash his hands in the water because he loves touching it. He loves baths and water. They're like his favorite. Grayson also loves reading books. This hasn't changed. He loves books. He loves books where he can like touch them. He doesn't like books with a lot of words, obviously, because he's a baby. He loves books with animals on them and lots of pictures. Oh, hi, are you standing? Yeah, he's just down here standing with the chair, but he loves books. He That's the stillest I will ever see him is when I'm reading him a book. He will just sit there and stare at the book. Anthony's parents got him a picture book. It's like an ABC book. Each letter is an animal and he absolutely loves it. He makes me read it to him over and over and over again. And funny enough, he also really likes, I am, I, for Christmas, I got my parents a dog training book and Grayson is obsessed with it probably because there's just a bunch of pictures of dogs in it and so he always wants me to read it to him but there's nothing to read like they're tricks so I just like oh doggy doggy and he's obsessed with it. Grayson's hair is getting super long now he will definitely need a haircut soon but I'm just not sure like how that's gonna go I've never like taken a kid to get a haircut before they have like kid-friendly haircut places in Columbus, so I'll definitely take him to one of those. If I can, I really wanna wait until closer to his one-year birthday and then like get it cut right before his pictures. I just worry that if I do it now, he's gonna be like, hate it, and then he'll be like, scarred for life. I don't know, it's just getting really long, and I, if you know me, I hate long hair. I always have Anthony get his haircut all the time because it's too long. It's definitely getting really long, and I'm definitely gonna have to cut it soon, but I'm hoping to save it for one year. Now that Grayson's nine months, I mean, he's only three months away, from turning a year old so I'm starting to think about his first birthday party and I'm starting to think about like his one-year-old photo shoot I'm gonna have him do a photo shoot with the photographer who took his newborn pictures and we're gonna do a cake smash and it's gonna be super cute and then his birthday party I want to do another you know cake there so he can smash that one too and I'm just trying to think of like a theme and I think I want to go with like an animal theme just because he loves animals so much more than animals he loves lights and he loves fans ceiling fans but I can't really do a party with like 
a light or a fan theme like that doesn't make any sense so i think animals is the next best option i don't really want to do like a safari or a zoo theme i just want like animals so i've just been on pinterest a lot and just trying to get some ideas we thought three more months so nothing too set in stone yet but it is something that i need to start thinking about his birthday will be on a thursday this year so we'll have like a little birthday party on his actual birthday probably here in columbus and then i think we'll go back to Toledo where both of our families are from because it's just easier that way and have a big party like the weekend after. So I'm really excited for that. Grayson can crawl very fast now, especially when he wants something, he will go and crawl. If he sees somebody eating something, he will crawl fast to that person. And he is starting to like beg now and he will climb up, crawl and like use your legs to stand up and then he will just like yell at you until you share whatever it is that you're eating with him so he loves anything any type of food he loves he loves cheese eggs cookies uh goldfish uh you know anything he loves um obviously i'm not giving him things that babies can't eat such as honey or things like that and i'm also not giving him like candy or like things that he could choke on but anything that is baby approved i do let him try it so he loves everything he loves like breadsticks that he can like hold in his hand and gnaw on and take them all to eat he loves anything like that grayson loves chasing animals and he loves animals still loves it like i was saying before especially our cat felix and my parents dog berkeley he loves chasing them around the animals don't really like grayson so much i'm still trying to work with him on petting gentle and he's kind of getting it better but not really and he'll just grab a fistful of their hair and pull on it which is why they avoid him so he loves chasing them around he absolutely loves my parents dog berkeley she barks he laughs she runs and goes plays fetch and when she comes back to bring the object back he smiles and gets so excited every time he sees her so it's really cute and he loves felix he every time felix comes near he tries to like give him a bear hug and felix runs away and he just loves animals he's so cute grayson hates having his face wiped uh after he's done eating a meal he has started this new thing now where he does not like to keep his bib on and he, all the bibs that i have are velcroed except for one that's buttoned and all of the velcro ones he just pulls at it and then it comes apart the button one is the only one that will like stay on but then he gets frustrated when he can't like get it taken off so i'm not quite sure like what to do about that situation if you guys have any tips leave a comment down below because i don't know how to keep a bib on him because he'll take it off and then i'm like okay fine and then food gets all over his clothes and then i'm like well am i gonna go through like 50 billion different outfits a day so I'm really struggling with like what to do with that. I'm not sure if it's just a phase or what, but he hates it after the end when I have to wipe his face. He hates that anytime. And um, this past month he had a cold and he had like a little bit of a runny nose. And so I would have to wipe his nose a lot and he hated it, hated it. Grayson also hates getting dressed because it just takes too long and he hates being still. It's become really hard to get him dressed nowadays because he just does not want to sit still. So I have to try to distract him with either a toy or I'm like, oh, look at the light or the fan or whatever. And um, even then it gets just a battle to try to get him to sit still enough for me to like get clothes on and off him. So that's been really hard. He just doesn't like being confined. So he hates being in the car seat. He hates it. And he hates being in the high chair. He just hates being confined and not being able to move. But Grayson loves water, like in the baths. He loves drinking water. We're trying to um, get him used to having a sippy cup because um, I was reading that around a year, you're supposed to start to transition away from the bottle and to a sippy cup so he loves drinking the water out of the sippy cup he loves playing in the water he loves taking baths he loves water he also loves baby wipes he loves to take them out of the container he loves to eat them and not eat them but like suck on them he loves baby wipes it's so weird grayson is very smart he understands more words on top of last month's words he knows window he knows outside monkey book water and bottle he also knows people's names he knows mama like he knows who i am if you say like where's mama he knows me he knows dada he knows grams my mom which is his gra grandma he knows um 
Aunt Allison, which is my sister. He knows Uncle Peter and Uncle Patrick, my brothers. He knows Berkeley, the dog, and he knows Felix, the cat. So he's very smart. He's starting to learn names. He's starting to learn um, more and more words. It's really cool to see him like connect. He doesn't like holding his bottle. I try and try and I feel like by nine months he should like know how to do that now, but he does not. He does not like to hold the bottle himself. He only likes me to do it. And another frustrating thing is I cannot go anywhere without him freaking out and running after me to try to catch up. He just started doing this duck lift thing. He won't do it whenever I want it. It's just whenever I'm like telling him. He like scrunches his face up and he won't do it now because he's distracted, but yeah, he started doing this duck lifts. Not sure where he got that from. But anyway, what I was talking about before, he will not let me out of his sight, which is kind of frustrating whenever I want to do things. <laughs> and it's um, hard for me to get things done. Anyway, I think that's about all for Grayson's nine month update. Like this video, subscribe for more videos, and stay tuned for the next video. Bye guys, say bye!